who will win between the Raged Barbarian and the Boxer Giants. What is going on guys, Judor Sloth here and welcome to another Clash of Clans battle, testing out the new troops within the new update. Today we have the Raged Barbarians versus the Boxer Giants. Who do you think will win guys? Make sure to comment down below who, who your favourite troop is out of these two. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can do so by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Also hitting the notification bell will make sure that you get notifications for each and every one of my videos. Now as with each one of these battles guys, this is the developer build. So let's get straight to it and match the Barbarians versus the Boxer Giants. Now I'm not too sure about this one guys, I'm really not. One of my subscribers suggested we battle these two out. It's definitely tough because we have a lot more Barbarians than we do Giants. Let's start off with the Barbarians. Maybe for the Barbarians we're going to try and pick up Percentage first because I feel that they're going to struggle a little bit more than the Giants once they get into the base and the Percentage is definitely going to help them out. That is the advantage of the Barbarians I would say. We have more of them. We can snipe off some of these buildings and then try and target the rest in over but they will fall subject to that multi-mortar as will the giants the giants will clump up a little bit easier than the barbarians though so that i feel might be a difficult aspect for the giants the barbarians here pushing in i don't want to put too many in guys because they'll get you can see them there getting blasted by that multi-mortar we need the hero to get forward get the crusher and the multi-mortar and then we can try and spam the barbarians in towards the town hall so i'm going to put a couple in to try and help the hero here oh but they all got blasted by the crusher we kind of need to wait here guys hopefully the hero doesn't get taken out because if we he does get taken out if we put the barbarians in they're just going to get blasted by that crusher so we have to accept that the barbarians here aren't going to get the town hall builders hall even i keep calling it the town hall and that is it for the Barbarians. So 62%. Let's bring up the thumbnail of the video whilst we swap across to the Giants. What do you think, guys? Will the Giants be able to take it? Now, I was definitely advocating the Barbarians there. But I think the Giants might be in with a chance given what just happened. So I think with the Barbarians struggling at the top there, we'll maybe start with the Giants down the bottom. Now... The thing with the Giants is we need to protect this hero. That is the only thing which is going to get in there, get us some percent, and take out that Builder's Hall. We need the Giants to be ahead. So I'm not going to put too many in so they don't get all taken out by this multi mortar because as I say, they will clump up. You can see them clumped up there already. So I need to try and be a bit sparse with the Giants. Make sure they don't clump up and all get taken out but still provide the tankage for the hero. Now, I am going to press the ability just to help him through these buildings. I know he was at full health, but we can expect that with the Giants. Once they get through this wall, I'll put a few more in just so that they do get into the middle of the base. We've got one more. We might as well put it in. But our hero has turned around. The Master Builder has decided to go on the outside of the base. That is disaster for the Giants. Other than that, I feel they had this. So it might be closer than we thought guys maybe the barbarians can take this one but actually with future rounds moving forward i feel like the giants might be in with a good chance here given what's just happened now they are taking out the defenses they are going to get crushed from that crusher at the back but actually the hero here might be able to get this double cannon and then there's only the multi mortar which is going to do any damage so long as he turns left here he might actually be able to survive this and take the builder's hall now i'm not sure whether they're going to be able to get to that 60 percent remember if he gets the builder's hall and above 50 percent the giants will still take this as they will have a better star ratio now the builder here coming onto the town hall onto the builder hall we keep calling it that this is going to be a victory for the giants guys he has taken it now i know he's going to run out of time here but it is a victory for the giants nonetheless it doesn't matter what percentage they get because they have taken the two star which the barbarians struggled to do so down he goes 52 percent that is a win for the giants so the boxer giants go one nil up 
in this challenge. So coming at this now then, let's change the base over. Make sure we have a different base on for the next set of attacks. Just swapping that over there, guys. So we're all ready. Let's fly back out into the trophy search and see if we can match these up. Now, I know I'm searching at the same time. Like I said, this is the developer build. So hopefully we can match up straight away. And there it is, guys. So starting off with the Giants. I don't want to come into the crusher here. It's very difficult with the Giants. Maybe they can actually get that multi-mortar down pretty quick. So let's put a few of them in. Hopefully... Oh, they're, they're inside the range of the mortar, but I'm pretty confident we versed the Giants off previously and they managed to get in and get that mortar. So you can see they're in already taking it down. We just need the battle machine to turn around and come into the base. We don't want him walking around. Now you can see the guard post troops have pulled them in. That is brilliant. So we'll put a few more Giants in. Let's maybe put a couple in at the top here to kind of tank on the outside. Just going to keep pressing the hero ability. It looks like we're going to get the Builder's Hall here, guys. The Master Builder is in. The hero is onto the hall. So this is going to definitely be a one-star for the Giants. Can we get the two-star? I'm not too sure about the Barbarians here, guys. I'll have to try and do the same thing. That is almost perfect. The... Hero has taken out the Builder's Hall, moved back around to the outside of the base so that he can start getting percentage. And the Giants, they're going to fall victim to the Crusher in a second. There they go. So we're not going to have much tanking for too much longer. But there's Giants at the top there. Them ones worked great that we put in. We're definitely going to get the two star here with the Giants again. So did you see that one coming, guys? We're going to have to try the exact same thing. Push into that multi-mortar with the Barbarians in order to take it out. I gotta say, in that first match, I really thought the Barbarians were going to take it. They were crushing that first base. Um, but since we've moved forward, the Giants have actually been doing phenomenally well. So we do have a Tesla and double cannon onto the hero here. I'm not too sure how much longer he's going to last. We are running out of time on the other on the other village, so the Barbarians we might have to jump back into in order to catch the gameplay because we only have two minutes left on the other build. The hero, unfortunately, is going to go down here, though, so that is it. 68% for the Giants, and that is a fantastic score. I feel that's going to be very hard to beat for the Barbarians, but let's see if they can do it, guys. We'll push in towards that multi mortar and see how they do. So let's flip back across. Here they are. Now the trouble is, let's try and take out a couple of these structures and then push in. The trouble is, unlike the Giants, which went straight for that wall, we're going to have to take out some of these structures before the Giants, before the Barbarians, sorry, will be attracted to the mortar. You can see they're still going on the outside there. Let's try and push the hero in as well, but it's not working, guys. See, the Giants automatically went in there now we have the barbarians going in let's try and push through that wall as soon as possible get that multi-mortar down there it goes guys i don't want to put too many barbarians in because i want them to swarm the builder's hall there as well so the hero is on the outside let's push quite a few in here to try and swarm this middle of the base and then let's spread the others around the outside to try and pick up percent we're all in there we are guys this is crushed the barbarians have came back with a vengeance and have taken the victory here with an easy margin so the crusher there you can see the damage of that defense just took out all of the barbarians we might be able to get one more hero ability in no we can't but 75 percent for the barbarians it wasn't looking good at the start there guys but they came back and absolutely crushed that base it was closer than we thought both two stars for that one what do you think guys we're gonna have to change up the base one more time it is 1-1 each of these battles we've done it's always been pretty close other than when we faced off the boxer giants and the bombers where the boxer giants won quite comfortably so we've changed the bases over. Let's have one more battle here. The Barbarians or the Boxer Giants. What do you think, guys? It's I really can't call this one. It is very close. It all depends on this base. So we have the Crusher over on the right-hand side. That's difficult. The multi mortar is certainly hard to get into for this one for the Barbarians. Let's start trying to work the funnel here. And then we can maybe push the Master Builder 
in the battle machine in towards that multi-morder. Let's have a couple of barbarians to help him out. Really want to push straight in towards that multi-morder. I don't want to put too many barbarians in, guys, because... They're going to fall victim to that multi-mortar. You can see them getting crushed there. We need them to get forward, get that down straight away before we can put too many in. Now, the... Oh, just trying to spam the ability there. The builder is in. The battle machine is getting crushed. He's taken out the guard post. Let's spam the rest of the troops in because we've got the... Oh, that mega bomb might have ruined this raid for the barbarians. They've then hit the spring trap, and unfortunately, they're going to fall victim here to the 49% one star. That is such a shame. I, I definitely feel sorry for the barbarians there because we could have made that a bit easier for them had I not spammed them all in. I never foreseen that big bomb there in the middle. So let's swap across to the giants and let's see how they do against this base. So. Let's try and tank a little bit here for the builder to come in. Again, it's very difficult for the giants to actually funnel because they're going to try and walk into the base first. So the battle machine may end up walking around the base here. We've got to hope that the giants get in quite quickly in order to force him into the base so he can take that mortar down. Let's start using that ability to take down these outside trash buildings a little bit quicker. Now the Master Builder in the Battle Machine is in on the left-hand side. We just need to keep the fire of this multi mortar attracted whilst they move forward. Let's put the last giant in. We're taking out the guard post troops. This is going to be a close one, guys. The giants on the right-hand side need to tank a little bit longer so we can get the Battle Machine in. Trying to get the ability off here. We've just about done it. I think we might be able to sneak the Builder Hall here. So long as the Battle Machine can get this next ability off, it's going to be close, but it looks like the Giants are going to clutch this, guys. There, we've got that ability. There's the one star, so we know victory goes to the Boxer Giants. Can they get the two star? Let's play this out, see exactly how far they get, see how close it would have been with the Enraged Barbarians. It looks like it's a comfortable victory for the Giants, but it would have been close if that Mega Bomb hadn't have gone off and set all of them Barbarians. Ooh, just, just devastating for the Barbarians. But there you go, guys. The Giants have won it. What did you think? I, I really thought the Barbarians were going to get that, guys. i got to be honest. I think after that first attack, I was convinced. But the Giants have certainly gone and won this one. So that is two victories. Both of the times we've faced the Boxer Giant off, it has won quite comfortably. It's quite possibly the best troop in the game right now. If you haven't used it alongside the Bomber, so putting the Boxer Giants down first, and then the Bombers throwing in behind to do that high percentage damage, then I would definitely recommend doing so. It is a brilliant strategy. Maybe you guys that have upgraded to Builder Hall level 4, make sure to let me know in the comments below, and let me know what success you've had with that, that strategy. We're just about to run out of time here. It looks like the Battle Machine might go down anyway. That Crusher is absolutely devastating. We're going to get one more ability in but that is the 71 percent two star and the victory to the boxer giants i hope you guys enjoyed that one i've been your host judo sloth make sure to subscribe for more clash of clans and until next time peace out guys stay tuned for more clash of clans